Thank you, Alan. Tourists have been welcome to Mobile at Fort Condé for years, but not for much longer. As News 5's Peter Albrecht reports tonight, the city is planning to open a new visitor center somewhere else in downtown Mobile. Fort Condé, it's a tourist attraction itself. They want to celebrate Mobile's unique colonial history. A popular place for field trips and visits. But it's also Mobile's official welcome and tourism center. A place to find out where to go, where to eat, shop, and sleep. Just a front porch to your destination. And now the city wants a new front porch, a new welcome center. We're partnering with the administration to at some point hopefully find a location that's uh, a better location, more accessible, um, better signage, uh, more world class. Even for those that know the road system in Mobile, getting to Fort Condi is not easy, especially if you're coming in uh, to Water Street from either the north or the south. The mayor says a new downtown location for the visitor center will be announced in the next 45 days. This is the original Fort Condi site, but not the original Fort Condi structure. What you're looking at is a four-fifth size replica of the original fort. It opened on July 4th, 1976 to celebrate the U.S.'s bicentennial. So this fort has no historic significance. Still, the mayor says even without the Welcome Center, Fort Condi will continue to be a key piece of the downtown tourism and entertainment puzzle. I think it fits in nicely with some of the other amenities that we're going to have once we finish Mardi Gras Park. Uh, when you take Gulf Quest, really gets going. Um, and if we can do something uh, more to ramp up the activity in Cooper Park, I think it's in a great location. It's likely that when a new visitor center opens, Fort Condé Village will be manned and operated by the City Museum, which is located just across the street.